Okay, today's handgun lesson requires a volunteer, so I have Otto von Richtenstein, head of security here at Sasquatch Ranch. Hello, how the fuck are you? Yep. So Otto, you're in my personal space. Take a step back, please. Okay, no, sorry. I meant take a step forward. Okay, now take a step back. Now step forward. Now step back. Now we're cha-chaing. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Off-Grid Whiskey, you awesome squatchers. This is one of the first things I learned in handgun training at the Firearms Academy of Seattle in on Alaska, Washington State. They're awesome. Highly recommend them. The, the question is posed, okay, do you conceal carry where no one can see your gun ever, or do you open carry like this? That's open carry. Everybody get girls, check out my heat. You know, everybody could see it. Hey boys, look what I got here. You're at the gas station, Safeway, hardware store. I was customer of the month, by the way, at my local hardware store, 2019, September. Yeah. And the instructor's philosophy was, which I uh, quickly adhered to, was don't, don't be brash, don't show your gun. You know, here at the Sasquatch Ranch on a tree farm, acres, I want it out. That's where I do open carry. I want people to see it. I've had people come down the road here, you know, and I'm like, who? I go confront them, and the first thing they do is they see my gun on my side. So they know they're up against somebody who's serious that could do some damage. What the f is he shooting at? For me personally, when I go to the store, gas station, anything, I put my shirt or coat over my gun. Even in the summer months when it's hot, I every day carry. I only take this gun off for one thing and one thing only. Don't you ever take that hat off for anything? You sure? I take it off for one thing and one thing only. Oh, take your hat off. With that said, the lovely people at the Firearms Academy of Seattle did a demonstration. And this was just, you'll see, I'll use auto. He needs to change his wardrobe though. He need, I don't like this. Let's change. Bye. Introduce yourself around, man. Thanks, we'll care, we'll care. All right, this is how Otto should be. He should be the fresh recruit, brazen, arrogant, Carrie Mahoney from the first Police Academy movie. You know, one in the oven. See the thighs. Come on, come on, I haven't got all day the thighs. So if you're open carrying like Mahoney here, one in the oven, and he's got his back turned. I guarantee he's on his phone. He's he's chatter baiting. And I'm, you know, I need to go get some sushi and not pay, but I need a strap. So I just see him. And hey, hey boy, you know, I don't even have to say anything. All they have to do is just walk up and pull it out and bang. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Fucking bang. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Bang. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Or, you know, I could have any discretions I want with them because I've got the drop. Now let's you just drop them pants. Just like Bobby in Deliverance, they had the drop on him, the hibillies, and now he's got to drop his pants. Drop, just take them right off. You definitely don't want to be like Bobby. That's what happens when you blatantly open carry in public. There's too many opportunities to be in the white zone. You got your head down like this. <laughs> All right, Mahoney, it's okay, relax. He's already, look at that, he's rocking the sailor's hat. He's ready for the blue oyster salad bar. Nice uniform. Makes me wish I'd worn my sailor outfit. <laughs> yes, someone's salad is getting tossed right now because he blatantly open carried. Hope they have a sneeze guard on that salad bar. <laughs> yeah. I don't see a salad bar. Look, sir. Maybe they serve seafood. <laughs> Not funny, you idiot. All hijinks aside, I highly recommend not blatantly open carrying in public. You may end up like Mahoney here, half dead on the hood of his pickup, pants around his ankles, panties around his knees. Them panties. Take them off. Violated in ways I cannot describe. They took advantage of me in ways that I cannot describe. Oh, Nigel, it must have been 